You know what I can't understand though. You try to help somebody. You know, just like uh, I don't know, um, spur of the moment. You try to change their life and make it better because you know they they uh, they either just got here or um, they don't know half of the things that you know that will uh, cost them financially. So you're 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 saving them or making the burden uh, easier for them. What do they do? They label you as a sucker and try to use you until they can't use you no no, no more. Why do they do that? Well, I believe it has something to do with Phoenix and this fundraising. Especially if they're here or from here, they have these little ticks embedded in them. Now, most most uh, most females are um, uh, are like that anyway. And um, if they if you try to be too nice to them and give them too much and stuff, when you stop, then it's a problem. Or um, if you uh, you don't know them and you're simply trying to um, make their transition easier uh, in in uh, whatever place they moved in, then you still label as a sucker. Now, instead of a person appreciating just that that um, gesture that you did for them. Uh, and, and leaving it alone because um, you never said that you uh, you really liked them or anything like that so it ain't a sexual thing but but uh, see this is the problem with uh, women and, and pretty women and, and whatever kind of woman they think everybody wants a pussy and they think once they get that then they can just break you down until you almost are uh, homeless as far as financially. Now, why should they do that? Every relationship I try to be in, I try to leave them in better shape than they was when they uh, they left uh, before they met me. And, and uh, when I met a Filipino, she showed me uh, how to do it. She said, we'll be friends for life. I just can't forget when you give me something and you help me and, and no matter how um, ridiculous your your theory is for needing money, I help you. I don't question it. I just help you. But you have these females now that they just, they've been dogged out uh, people talking about them, uh, using them, tricking them, pulling trains on them. So the minute you you come with uh, a, a kind hand and your heart, then you finna get fucked. And it's over and over. I notice uh, people do that. I, I help them on purpose because, uh, like I said, money don't mean anything to me. Uh, uh, if I want, if I must kill my brother over some money then I'll surely kill you but it don't mean anything to me uh, only just to pay bills but I will kill you oh, oh, over the littlest thing but um, it, is, it is really a trip that people can't distinguish a kind hand and I'm not going to do anything unkind to him they just up here they just go to left field and say fuck you and then don't think it's gonna be any retaliation or nothing i can't understand that you will get killed up here oh taking money from uh strangers from out of town man i don't know what town y'all think y'all or, or what protection y'all think y'all have but people will kill you over 
over uh, taking some money and especially tricking them out of something because it leaves them feeling like a fool. And, and uh, it's depending on what age they are. You don't want to be an old fool. But, man, you can not do that. And if you do, just get ready for all the consequences that uh, that come along with stealing something from somebody. If you can accept that and still um, feel like you can take something from somebody or make a fool out of them, be ready for the consequences, not of here, of other others, um, cities, because most of those consequences is death. Or you buried in the fucking desert. Or you you maimed. You ain't got no motherfucking ears no more. Or, or some shit. You have, People ain't gonna let you keep taking shit from them. And then, see, that's what you teach your kids. You teach your kids to steal from the snowbirds over the dinner table. But you don't call it stealing. You call it a business. You gonna get your kids killed. Your legacy that you left behind for your kids... Is is uh, illegal, wrong, immoral, no integrity, or nothing. They end up being dope fiends and hoes. That's the legacy y'all y'all leaving behind for y'all kids.